Praise the Lord. This message is brought to you by Kingdom Message Interdomination and Ministry, a place where the undiluted word of God are carefully and accurately given, a place where you walk in the clear understanding of the finished work of our Lord Jesus Christ through His word. For more information, contact us at Plot 103B, Church Street, of Lagos Ibadan Expressway, Arepo, Ogun State, Nigeria. Phone number plus 234-8130-229052. Our website www.kmim.ng. Stay blessed. Verse 34. John chapter 4, verse 34. Jesus said unto them, My me is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. Can you see the purpose of Jesus on earth is to finish the work that has been given to him. That was his purpose, that was his pursuit when he was here on earth to finish the work. And I'm praying also that this will be your Lord in Jesus' name. That we all finish well. We will finish strongly in the name of Jesus Christ. Actually, the from the beginning to the end. God has calculated it and has released it. I'm just praying that you receive and manifest it in Jesus' name. Alright, let's go to John chapter 17 verse 4. John chapter 17 verse 4. I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work without thou given me to do. Can you see now? In John chapter 4 verse 34, Jesus was saying that his meat, his food is to finish the war that the Father has given to him. And in chapter 7, he said, I've glorified thee on earth, I've finished the work. And I told him, I cannot lie. He said, I've finished the work which thou given me to do. Now let's go to chapter 19, verse 28. From, you know, the first scripture is John chapter 4, verse 34. Where Jesus was saying, his work is to finish the work that has been given to him. And um, chapter 17, verse 4 now, he said, he has finished it. Look at chapter 19, verse 28. After this, Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the situation might be fulfilled, said, I thirst. Now, there was, a, there was set a vessel full of fire, and they feed a sponge with finger and put it upon Esop and put it to his mouth. When Jesus therefore had received the finger, he said, It is finished. He bowed his head and gave all the ghost. Hallelujah. Can you see, brethren? After he see that everything has been accomplished, he now said, I thirst. Oh my God. It's over so that we can enjoy, so that we can live freely. So that we can enjoy the liberty that is in Christ. So after the whole thing, the Bible says, it says, it is finished. Traditionally, people follow the last word of their parents when they are about to pass on. When they are about to, to die, children will try to listen to their parents, especially if they are good parents. They want to look at the last word, what they will say last. But it's a pity today that many people did not follow the last word of Jesus. They did not value, they did not understand it. Look at the last word of Jesus when he was on earth, when he was about to go. He said, it is finished. Amen. So he finished it on the cross. Beloved, I want to believe that Christianity is a dundee. Your salvation is a dundee. Your deliverance is a dundee. Your prosperity is a dundee. Hallelujah. Everything has been accomplished in Christ. Amen. Jesus said it is finished. And it's finished. He cannot lie. Christ paid the world debts. He fulfilled every iota of law on our behalf. Every iota of law. He paid all the debts that we owe, that we could not pay. He paid it. Hallelujah. May his name may not be praised forever in Jesus' name. So it is finished. The Greek meaning of it is finished is Telestia. And it can be used in three ways. Number one, it can be used in business. It's fully paid. All the whole, all the debt of sin has been paid on the cross. Hallelujah. So Christ cannot hold you. 
over your life because Christ paid the price fully on the cross. So it can be used in business and at least all debt has been paid. You don't own Satan again. All your debt has been paid on the cross. Let's check that in the book of 1 John. 1 John chapter 2. 1 John chapter 2, verse 2. If you have your account. For us only, but also for the sin of the whole world. Can you see now? Pride fully on the cross. Look at this fashion. He himself is the sacrifice that atones for our sins. And not only our sin, but the sin of all the world. Can you see what Jesus did on the cross? He finished it. He said he has paid for the sin of all the world. So what will lead men to hell fire is unbelief. If you don't believe in what Jesus has done, if you don't believe in the sacrifice that Jesus made on the cross, this is what will take you to hell fire. You don't need to be a slave to sin. You don't need to be controlled and ruled by sin again. Because that's not part of your nature if you are a believer. I'm talking to believers, the saints, people that come to know the law, people that surrender all to cry, people that say bye bye to the law. So your debt has been fully paid. Let's look at 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 20. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 20. For ye are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Hallelujah. Can you see, brethren? For ye are bought with a price. Christ has purchased all. Bought us with a price. For ye are bought with a pride. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. So, God. God. Pay dearly for us on the cross. He used his blood to redeem us. Amen. For God bought you with a high price. That's our responsibility now. You see? He said, For God bought you with a high price. Thing that you can buy with money. That's why I, 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 I used to be the devil. Evil thought when it come with the you must honor God with your body, honor God with your body, honor God with your life, find the light around you. Don't be inflamed by what you are watching on social media. Don't be Leo, you into sin. The Bible says, provide that. My son, if sin I entice you, consent not. If they are enticing you, if they are telling you that if you don't have a boyfriend, if they are a sinful friend. That you cannot enjoy your marital home, that you need to taste it first. That is Christ has purchased body now to hold glory. Can you be smoking cigarette and you are saying you belong to Christ? No! 
You don't need to do that. Hallelujah. How can you? Christ has purchased you, honor God. In the book of This is what you need to meditate on. Look at this fashion. You were bought with a price, purchased with a preciousness, and paid for. Made his own. I belong to God. Can you say to yourself, I belong to God? I am God's possession. I am God's property. So then, honor God and bring glory to Him in your body. Youth. I want you to be involved in your local assembly. Be part of what God is doing. No, serve God selflessly. You don't need to be careful to play church. Render it unto God selflessly. The Bible says, honor God and bring glory to Him in your body. Amen. It is when you understand this truth that I regard you the way you dread, the way you do this, the way you relate with your parents with your friends, with your colleagues, with your leaders in the church. You don't need to pay any debt again. You don't need any sacrifice again. If no other sacrifice again. Christ has sacrificed himself on the cross. He has fully paid the price. All right. Another two. The Bible says, therefore, being justified by faith, you have been justified just as if you have not sinned. Justify. Because the sentence is fully therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace not Not through our prayer, not through giving this, giving tithe, giving offering. Do that. If you know what Jesus has done for you, willingly you you give to Him. Willingly, it's not about. Therefore, be justified by faith. We have peace with God. Brethren, you have peace with God. You have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through the pride that he paid on the cross. Say because you are a human being, but if you allow him to walk in you, the Bible says I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Through prayer is the one that is working in us. 
Allow him. Allow him. Give him space. Let him do his work. You are no longer in charge. He's in charge. So the Bible says, I rejoice in hope of the glory of God. You rejoice. On the cross. Verse 15. Colossians chapter 2, verse 13 to 15. Colossians chapter 2. And you being dead in your sins, together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses, blotting out the handwriting of ordinary sins, all which are contrary. And took it out of the way, many into his cross, having spoils principality. And they will be tempting you with sexual immorality. If you meditate on who you are, on what Christ has done for you, if you do you understand what I'm saying? Because the Christ has paid the price for us. Look at this fashion. Having cancelled and blotted out and wiped away the handwriting of notes, bond. With his legal decrees and demand, which was in force and stood against all, all style to this, not with his regulation, decrees and demands, he set aside and cleared completely out of our way by nailing to his cross. He did everything on the cross. The price was fully paid, the center was fully served on the cross. All those against you. Nay to the cross. Christ is now you are not on the cross. All your problem, nay to the cross. All those things that flow in your genealogy, he nay to the cross. You don't need to put it again. Think about what Jesus has done for you. Amen. No right over me.
Testament, he shall fight. But in, all, in New Testament now, he has fought for us. So we have rest. What we need to do now is to hold our peace. It will be a place of rest. Rest on the finished world. Rest on Christ. Rest on the blood that you have paid. We don't need to trouble yourself again. Running from one place to the other. Running from one prayer place to another prayer place because of one battle or the other. The battle has been won. Your case is settled. Your case is different. Satan cannot please you if you begin what Jesus has done for you. Let me read Romans chapter 8, verse 37. Romans 8, verse 7. Nay, in all these, this day, we are more than conqueror to him than among us. Can you see? The Bible says, in all these things, in all these things, you are more than conqueror. You are more than conqueror. You are more than conqueror. To me, than Lord you. Our Father, Lord, Lord, in short, if you meditate on the love of God, you will have rest. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 3, the Bible says, He has not up with everlasting love. Meditate on His constant, unfailing love. There was a time I was saying that God loved me deeply. He knows me personally and He loved me perfectly. You can also say that to yourself. God knows you personally and He loves you perfectly. He knows you perfectly. He knows you perfectly and He knows you perfectly. So, Depend on His unfailing love. His love doesn't fail. It's on hand, it's on condition. He loves us with everlasting love. So, the Bible says we are not a conqueror through Him that loved us. Please give me another passion. Meditate on that law. Know that your father loves you. If you understand this love of God, you will not like to offend him. If you love your wife dearly, you will not like to offend your wife. If you also love your husband, you will not like to offend your husband. You want to do what pleases him or her. So also, if you understand the love of God, you will not sin against him. You will not be living a precious life. You know that he loves you, pay the price for you on the cross. So the Bible says, we are more than conqueror. Another passion. Romans. Romans 8, chapter 7. Nay, in all these things, we are born a conqueror. No, despite all these things, overwhelming victory is ours. Through Christ, we love all. Overwhelming victory is ours. Overwhelming victory is ours. So we are victorious. Say to yourself, I am victorious. I am more than conqueror. Because the battle has been fully won. You are not fighting for victory, you are fighting for victory. You know, as I used to say, when they be killed Goliath, the children of Israel ran after the Christian. They are not the one that won the battle, it was David. So David was the type of Jesus. Jesus has conquered the enemy. He has defeated all the enemies. So we are now going there to just gather this point because Christ has won the battle for us. So you don't need to fight again. If anybody tell you that because of your family problem, family causes family language, that you need to go and fight for 70 days, you need to go and fight for 100 days, they are not deceiving you. They are making you to walk. And you are eating out of your sweat. But you just believe the word of God. If you just change your mind. That's what I was saying yesterday that we need to educate our mind. Just change your mind. Condition your mind to this truth. Believe that Christ has done everything for you, that the battle has been fully won. Even in the Old Testament, some brethren they enjoy this victory. Let's look at number. Number chapter 13. Number 13. Number chapter 13. And read from verse 20. Behold, I have received the commandment to pray, and he has prayed, and I cannot reverse it. Hallelujah. See, brother, look, when, when I say, when I'm look, reading by like this, I'm always excited, I'm always happy because I believe the word of God. The Bible says, He has received commandment to bless, and He has blessed for it, cannot reverse it. Your blessing cannot be reversed. Look at this one. Listen, I received a command to bless. God has blessed. And I cannot reverse it. 
God has blessed you. Look at all the talent. We are under a better covenant. So instead of you going about anyone that wants to be made a greatest, anyone that wants to be a blessing, they should fall down and die, they should do this, they should start a and this and that and that, you are just wasting your time. You are doing this and you are not praying. You are just wasting your saliva. Because you are standing with the time here, how you start in life. Look at this, and listen. You use, listen to me wherever you are. Listen. God said, I have received a command to bless. I have blessed. God has blessed. I cannot reverse it. It was my brother that was saying this. I mean, the Balaam. That's why I was in error. Yet they can see passive the voice of God. And what he said is like, God, it was God that put it in his mouth. And God is still speaking to us today. He said, listen, listen to him. Listen, youth. Listen to God. Listen to God. God. And guide it. See, brethren, you cannot be a good leader because you know you cannot give what you don't have. But if you make yourself available, you are well taught, you are well trained. See, brethren, you will make impact. He said, Lift I receive a command to bear. God and bear, I cannot do mercy. And in the book of Elisha, chapter 1, verse 3, the Bible says, He has blessed with all spiritual blessings in every place in Christ Jesus. So, tell your friend, I am blessed in God. Christ has finished it on the cross. The battle at the wall. Now, let me go to verse 22. Verse 21. We are not there in the city of Jacob, neither as if seen by Pastor in Israel. The Lord is God is with him, and that the shout of the king is among them. Verse 22 now. Verse 23. Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob. Now we will put on it. There is no enchantment against Omatoli Adewale. Neither is there any delay against Omatoli Adewale. Israel and the spiritual Israel. So I put on it. I apply the word of God to myself. This is how I read my book. I apply the word of God to myself. So apply it to myself. And one day this time, it shall be said of Omatoli Adewale Timothy. And Omatoli Adewale Timothy. What God has dropped. Amen. No God, look at this version. No God can touch Jacob. No magic has has any power against Israel. For now, it will be said of Jacob, what wonder God has done for Israel. See, brother, look at the word of God. You can have the word of Buy different fashion Bibles. Don't listen to all the people that are sent to you on earth. There are people that wrote their Bible. They wrote uh, Satanic, they are the one that wrote Satanic Bible. See, they are in materials. Everything they have advantage, also has disadvantage. Look at your phone. If you use your phone in a negative way, it will destroy your life. But you can use it in a positive way. All this Satanic, instead of watching program now, you can make some discovery on net. You can discover many things, you can make some research on net. So, do listen to them, buy different parts and read it. For simplicity and for that time, look at this fashion. Maybe I want to read. He said, No cause can touch Jacob, a man under all covenants. Jesus, thank you. No cause can touch you, youth. No cause can touch you as long as you remain in Christ. If you are not in Christ, that's another thing. You are on your own. You should be under the influence and control of Satan. But if you are in Christ, no cause can touch you. We are not going to cross. We don't need to be going for a, a meeting and be breaking courses every month. For how long will you do that? When will you, will you sa- sit down and do that Sabbath purpose? When you are doing that kind of prayer every month? No cross can touch Jacob. No magic has any power against Israel. No magic, no enchantment, no incantation can work against you because the body has been war. It is finished. For now, it will be said of Jacob, what wonder God has done for Israel. In this meeting, God has done wonder for you. We see it now in the name of Jesus. So, no enchantment, no divination, no, uh, no, no magic, no consistency can work against you. Alright? 
Let's look at another place. Isaiah chapter 24, verse 17. Isaiah 24, verse 17. No evil that fall against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord, and the arrival is of me, said the Lord. Can you see? This Old Testament. He said, No people, God and all that. No people, no sorcery, no enchantment, no incantation that is fighting against you, that the fall against you, can prosper. Let me read it to you in this version. But in that coming day, no people turn against you will succeed. You will silence every voice raised up to accuse you. This benefit and enjoy by the servant of the Lord. The application will come from me. I, the Lord, have spoken. He said, I, the Lord, have spoken. And the cannot lie. No battle come against you. No people come against you. No people come against you. Shall prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. No that the battle has been fully won. Christ has prayed them. Your death or sin is fully paid. The sentence for punishment and judgment for God has been fully served. You are no longer in bondage. You are no longer in prison. All the people that present to you that you can be in prison, you can be a born again Christian, and yet you are still in prison, you are still in bondage. They are telling you lies. They are using their experiences. They are not standing by God's word. You go for not your experience. And don't you experience of another person to enjoy what is going on in your life. The battle against the devil, sin, and all the enemies, sickness, diseases, are the, are the fully warned. Are the fully warned. Christ has done it for us. The you know, battle against viruses are the fully warned. You cannot be affected with coronavirus. Declare to yourself, I cannot be affected with coronavirus. I cannot be infected with coronavirus. Because the battle against sickness, against disease, are the one on the cross. So you now are a new man in Christ. You know, rest in the finish work of Christ. Jesus fought the battle, you get the victory. You get the victory. He has fought the battle. So, how can we uh, articulate this? Or what can you say about this? It is finished. How can you apply it to your life practically? Yes, that's what I mean. How can you apply it to yourself practically? Number one, you must understand that your old nature finished on the cross. Old nature, that Adamic nature, cross on the cross. Just understand that. Have a deep knowing. Have Deeper understand the deeper revelation of it. Make research. Study the Bible personally. Then you know that your own nature crushed on the cross. Finish on the cross. You are no longer under the bondage of sinful nature. You cannot be ruled and controlled by sin again. This old nature crushed on the cross. That's why the Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 6, because of that we will not be able to read it. Go and read Romans chapter 6. You, you see there. The Bible says in verse 14. That sin cannot have dominion over you because you are not under the law but under the grace. So sin has no dominion over you because it is finished. Christ finished it on the cross. He will finish. That's number one. Number two, Satan has been defeated. Satan is destroyed. Just have that understanding today. Look at Hebrew. Hebrew chapter 2. Verse 14. Hebrew 2 14. Hebrew 2 14. For as much as the children are partaken of the flesh and blood, he himself, he also himself, like that two parts of the same, that through death they might destroy it, that are the power of death, that is the term, and deliver them who through fear of death, where all their life and suffer with bondage, it is divided. It is why they have the power of death. That is the devil. The devil has been destroyed. If you read Genesis chapter 3, verse 15, you also see there that his head and the brute. 
Satan has no end. Satan is the wicked being on earth. He doesn't have targets. The Bible says he's rolling about, seeking who you may devour. I am not devourable. Say to yourself, you are not devourable. He's seeking what he can devour. It's not about that he can devour. So you are not devourable. If you, are, if you believe what Jesus has done, you will know that Christ has finished everything on the cross. You are not devourable. He has paid the price fully for you on the cross. And we can look chapter 10, verse 19. Luke chapter 10, verse 19. That was a few morning to read verse. Luke chapter 10, verse 19. Listen, he said, Behold, I give unto you power to turn on Saturday and Scorpion. Because he said, I give unto you power to turn upon Saturday and Scorpion. And over all the power of the enemy. Nothing shall the enemy is unto you. Can you see, brother? He said, I give unto you power. Instead of you going to Monday, for 40 days, 49, asking God for power. God said he has given you the power. You have the power of God already inside you. And then 3 30, he said, or to it, I said, to do a city of God, above all we are or think of, according to the power that will get the loss. That power is in you. You don't need to put it to action. As if it is, that same spirit that is in Apostle Peter, Paul is already in, in you. We do have seen all these spirit. The Spirit of God is wrong. It's in you. So you have the power to tell the first aspect as conquer. And all you have the power of enemy. But enemy, they cannot hurt you. Because Jesus said it is finished. And also, fear of death crossed on the cross. Jesus crossed the fear of death. You can see that in that Hebrews chapter 2, verse uh, 14 and 15. He crossed the fear of death. Don't be afraid of death. You cannot die to maturity. You, you cannot die to maturity. Just be conscious of what Christ has done for you. And that is, poverty and the cross on the cross. Look at 7 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9. 7 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9. For we know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that through death he was rich, yet for your sake he became poor, that we through his poverty might be rich. Can you see, brother? Christ was rich. He became poor because of you, so that you can be released through his poverty. So poverty has been crushed on the cross. It's finished over your life. You cannot remain poor if you are in Christ. If you are in Christ, you have the life of God in you. You are more than what the president of the nation has, unless you know the law. You ask what anybody in the world, anybody in your world possess, because you can't buy it with money. You can't buy the life of God with money. And lastly, sicknesses and diseases are been crossed, are been paid for on the cross. So, brethren, you have access to God. Just know today, it is finished. That Christianity is a dirty. But this is children's bread. We will go to him if you have not come to believe in him, that no arm can have access to him. What can you do now, brethren? Ask let me ask chapter 2, verse 38, as we pray. How to pass it? How to pass it? Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin, and ye shall receive you Holy Ghost. So you can take this step. You repent. You repent. You are baptized into Christ. That's the issue of baptism. You baptize into Christ before you do practical one and the physical one. The physical one is just symbolic. You know the one that saved you. It's Christ that saved you, but it's a symbol. You are identified with Christ in his death. When you repent, you are identified with Christ in his death. If you, are, if you do water baptism, you are identified with Christ practically, literally, symbolically, you are identified with his barrier. And when you see the way you are identified with speaking in tongues, it shows that you are identified with, with Christ's resurrection. And you are filled with your ego. You have the spirit of God. You have the life of God in you. You know, mostly it is finished. It is finished. No more trouble, no more causes, no more loss, no more sorrow. It is finished. Believe this, and your life will not be the same. Can you bow down your head and you will bless the name of the Lord? Can you appreciate the Lord that I've done for you? He said, It is finished on the cross. Christ finished everything. Worship and give me praise. No more back to the battle of the free Lord. Open your mouth and worship it. 
The sentence of death has been fully served. Oh, the death has been fully paid. No more death, no more sacrifice. Hallelujah. You are not under compulsion of the devil. You are not under imprisoning your heart in bondage. You are not under God's worshiping, giving praise. Celebrate the lives of our worshiping. Worshiping, worshiping, worshiping. You are not under the conditions of poverty or sickness or disease. It has been paid. 